Hello viewers, here is a Honeywell Turbo Force Power fan. This is, or it was rather, a $13 figment of my curiosity. These are sold at the store where I go buy food at work. And the store is laid out such that I have to walk past the fan section before I get to the food section. So I see these every week, perhaps. And I knew it was just a matter of time before my curiosity got the better of me. And I bought one just to see what kind of motor it has. That was this week. So I bought this particular one because the box was unique. There's maybe 25 of these on the shelf, black and white. And they all had the design of the box that I've showed earlier, maybe last year or two years ago, whenever it was I had bought one. They all had that design, and there was one that had this design. And this to me looked newer, it was more flashy, extremely Vornado-esque. And I thought to myself, if any of these fans are going to have the PSC motor, it's got to be the one in the anomalous box. So, I bought this one. As I was putting it in the car, I discovered that the box does not currently have, and does not appear to ever have had, any kind of seal on it. So I could have opened the box in the store, took a look inside, see what kind of motor it has, and found out at no cost. But Brilliant Me did not realize that. Now I did look couple times earlier I was at the store and I looked at the other boxes and those were all taped up so I tried the first time I didn't try the second time shame on me I should have looked anyways so yeah um, it's got Spanish on this side and is that Spanish yeah, it is Spanish. And English on this side. Uh, we would go up to 25% quieter baloney. And that's because it moves 25% less air than the other version. And 90 degree that, whatever. 25 feet, okay, that's what Vornado does. So they gotta do it too. Um, fuse safety plug, energy saving base. Oh, okay. Um, Let's go ahead and open this up. Now I already know what kind of motor it has in it, but you don't. So you're going to have to find out in a few seconds. Alright, so opening it up, we got uh, that information's on there. We got a manual. This is considered a high velocity air circulator. Now, interestingly enough, they um, are showing that the front grill can be removed for cleaning. Though it is my understanding that one of the screws on these fans is an atypical bit. Or, or, or maybe, maybe that's the old version I'm thinking of. Okay, scratch, I think that is the old version I'm thinking of. Yeah, that, it's, it's nice packaging, it's all recyclable. In here is the fan itself, and inside this fan, powering the blades, is an infamous shaded pole motor. Daggone it. So, um, yeah, it doesn't have the new motor. So, against my better judgment, at some point in the future, curiosity is going to get the better of me again, and I'm going to buy another one with the old box and see what kind of motor it's got, and I'm probably going to buy a black one and a white one, because I've only seen them with the black motor so far, and, you know, or the black 
the more in the black one so far. Who knows? Oh, then whatever. We'll see what comes of it. I'll try to hold off on doing that for as long as possible. Anyways, all that baloney aside, here it is. And let's just make sure it works. Now, as disappointing as that was, it's not a waste because, quite honestly, I do think these are pretty decent fans. And I will use this. If I don't use it at home, I'll take it to work and use it at work. Um, but probably wouldn't have bought it had I known that it had a shader pull motor. Oh, it has a startup sound to some extent. Okay, that's low. Does appear to be working. Moving a nice breeze. Medium. And high. Now, I don't know. I had my doubts about feeling the breeze 25 feet away. Of course, I haven't the slightest idea how they come up with that figure because chances are probably still feel it at 26 feet if they claim you feel it at 25 feet. But, uh, is what it is. I don't have a big enough area to test that, so we may never know the truth value of that statement. Spin down. Meh. Fairly stiff bearings. So, yeah. There it is. Now it's straight to pole glory. I don't know what the what the pattern is. This looks like a relatively new box. Uh, I think it said 2018 on it somewhere. Actually, does this have a UL sticker on it? No. Somebody told me how to read this date code, and I I don't remember. Oh, it only says 10, so I don't know what good that is. I don't see a UL sticker on here. It's on the ETL listed. It claims it confirms to UL standards, but I honestly have my doubts about that. I really thought that it had um, a date on it somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Copyrights 2018. So, maybe this was a new design for 2018. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That was a failed attempt to get another Honeywell turbo fan with a shader pole or with a, a PSC motor. 